sure to like and, and smash that, that subscribe, subscribe button. All right, we fixed to put this in. Uh, cherry, cream cheese, uh, dump cake together. I got two packs of cream cheese and got one sort of mashed up over there. Two cans of cherry pie filling. Duncan Hines, French vanilla, stick and half butter. I done got a half stick of butter over in my thing, so I just got to get a stick and half butter. That's what we're going to be cooking out of. Two cans of cherry, two packs of cream cheese, stick and half butter, cake mix. We'll show you how to put it together in just a minute. Now, I done got a stick of butter in there, so I'm going to put another half a stick of butter in this and put it in the microwave oven and melt it. All right, I got a stick and half butter here. I'm going to put it in the microwave oven and melt it. Put it under this top right here. And turn it on. All right, I'm going to put the rest of this cream cheese in this pot that I'm working on. them hands just a little bit. All right, I'm going to sort of whip this. I tried to buy a whip in the store. didn't have no whip. So I'm going to whip it a little bit. You on the electric meat, sir? No, I'm going to whip it with this fork. I just need to get it where it's softened up good. I left it laying out and I got it pretty good soft. So we'll, we'll use that there. Let's move over here to this table over here, darling. All right, all right, we gonna, I done got that cream cheese, I'll get rid of that. Let me check this butter. I don't want it popping and blowing out everywhere. We'll leave it sitting there. Let me get a little spoon or something. All right, I'm going to put two cans of cherry pie filling in this joker. There's one. I was going to put some pineapple, but we out here in the woods in the middle of nowhere and ain't got no pineapple. There's one. Scrape them out good. Get all that good stuff out of them. Spread it out a little bit. Really need, look like I need some more, don't it, baby? No, that's plenty. You think that's plenty? Yeah, I'd be a little tardy, like, to get any more. Bring your butter back. I'm gonna have to use it my, I'm gonna use it whenever I do cake my cake mix thing. All right, I'm going to see if I can't spread this uh, cream cheese out in here. That ain't going to be an easy job. Huh? Mm. We're just going to put little daubs of it everywhere. Till we daub it all over the... About like that till we daub it all over the cake. You don't like very much, do you? No. Nope. You get it all spread out like that. I done throw my fork away. Should have saved it. Let me get another one. Where Mama can watch it. What? Where I can watch it. You love that silverware, don't you? Yeah, man. 
My dishwasher is complaining about my. Your dishwasher can talk. Huh? Your dishwasher can talk. <laughs> my dishwasher is complaining about me. Then you just sort of mix it all together. Mix it in a little bit. Like that. Yeah, we about got it mixed all together in here get some of these cherry right there off the edge make sure we got a good blend all the way through. What you think? Put your little cherries over there at the end. Right there. Right there? Behind that. Right there. They keep flipping back out there. I don't uh, know why the cherries keep gravitating to the edge, but they do. Okay. All right. That's sort of what it's supposed to look like. Then we'll take this here. I reckon you could use any kind of cake mix, but I got a French vanilla cake mix. And that's what we're going to put on it. Open this cake mix up. French vanilla Duncan Hines. What should I put my oven on, darling? It should tell you. 350 is usually what you do on a cake. Well, I'm having trouble opening this darn cake mix up. Yeah, they in there for a reason, tied, aren't they? Let me get me some. I'm tired of that. You use the same knife. Do what? You use the same knife <laughs> twice. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Maybe the fuss is about my silverware usage. And you droppage of all that everywhere. See me nasty. What? You're nasty. Yeah, but I'm good. Get me another spoon. He's getting a clean spoon again. Hey, you got to have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to mix this butter and cake mix together. A little bit at a time. Make a crumbly. Now what, I have a dump cake that I make, and I just dump the cake mix on top of that except it's mine is um cherries and um pineapple you use cherry pineapples and a cake mix and stick of butter mm -hmm. but right. you know i just drizzle the butter on top of it but he said this actually called for it like this because they said it makes the cake crumbly crumbier you just mix it till you get a good consistency all right, I put the last of the butter in here in the cake mix, and we're going to stir that around. And it's, it's sort of gooey there now. So we're going to try to put it on here a little bit at a time. We came over to a, a park here, really nice park. It, it doesn't... Um, they don't charge anything. You don't have, you know, sewer and um, water and electricity and all that. But we came out here where we could actually do some cooking and film it for y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a, a bread pudding. And he's doing the crumb cake today. We, we, got some, we just got, we got to find somebody to eat. We can't eat all of it. Well, we got a bunch of people here that I've met. I'm going to talk to some of them here in a little bit. Uh, 
they kind of funny. One of them, they from Michigan, two of them from Michigan, one of them from New Jersey, and they full-time, and well, they're snowbirding, they're not full-timers. This one guy, he's 85 years old, he's a mortician up in Michigan, and he's living in a van. Oh, we're going to interview him, he's hilarious. Uh, he got a good sense of humor, talks real good. He's hilarious. And then the other guy was a owns a motel, a seasonal motel. So he comes snowbirding in the wintertime to Florida. And they said to come to Florida for, for warm weather and got out here and it's freezing their butt off. <laughs> It's a, a wetter cold down here than it is up there. Do what? What? I got a what? You got the back in the floor. <laughs> man. That's woman word. Oh, uh, I'm about to get this hem spread out good evenly. You just break it apart and fill it in, and it'll sort of melt and run together, I hope, and make it real crumbly crust is what I'm hoping for. We about to clean this bowl out right here. I got a little bit more. We'll be pretty much through with it. Uh, we're just trying to fill in a couple of holes here. And I think that's going to be it. We're going to put that in the oven and let it cook. Get back with y'all in a little while. Yeah. Bye-bye. Talk to y'all when it, we put it in the oven. Okay. Ready to go. We're going to put it in the oven. We got this convect oven up here. Convection oven. We're going to put her in there. And got her preheated to 350. We're going to start it. 3 hours and 59 minutes. How long it take, baby, at 350? You said look at the clock. Yeah. Film the clock. See what time it is right there. About 7 minutes after. We'll check in 30 minutes to see what it looks like. See if it looks good, we'll take it out. If not, we'll, we'll cook it a little bit more. See how brown it is on the top. That's a quick look at the. I need to turn it around, though. It's browning on this one end better yeah, than it is on the other. I need to turn it around. Well, that's a quick look at the cake. Looking good. Let me turn it around. And I forgot to take a picture of it before we started eating it. I'll give most of it away to camp. Me and Baby Dolls ate a bowl full of it. We try not to eat all of it. I'll give most of it away to people up here at the camp. But right there is what it looked like. Now, I'll tell you, it was good. But I use that French vanilla cake mix. But if I, when I do it again, I'm going to use this as that regular old, uh, what do you call it, yellow butter cake mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would have been better with that. But it was good like it was. That uh, cream cheese took the tartness off the cherries, but it was good. You can see, tell how much is gone, it was real good. I'm glad I made this journey with you. If you like my papa's channel, Rogue Naps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash that subscribe button. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.